Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. I saw a lot of YouTubers doing this kind of like gift ideas for Christmas and stuff like that. So I wanted to do one on my own because I feel like I have some different ideas. Yeah, I'm just gonna take you through it. If you're wondering what's sticking out of the back of my head, I put a bow in my hair. I don't know if you can tell. I saw it on Pinterest and I thought it was really cute. I made a list. I've tried to make it as generic as possible because I know you might have different ideas or different preferences on what you want to put on your wish list for Christmas. Basically this list is going to be ideas on what you can put on your own wish list. So you can just change it to whatever you like. These are just for inspiration. Okay, we're just gonna jump right into it. The first idea is PJs. This is just something that I usually never spend any money on myself. So I feel like it's a really good gift idea because PJs can be pretty expensive and it's just money that I would usually spend elsewhere. So I feel like PJs is such a good idea and you can get so many cute pieces. Just look online and put them on your wish list. The next idea is Birkenstocks. I feel like this is mostly for the Scandinavian girlies because I feel like Birkenstocks might not be as popular as they are in Scandinavia. Yeah, but I personally would like some Birkenstocks and they are on my wish list. I feel like they're just so easy to, to just quickly put on and they're kind of fashionable and cute. The next idea that I have is just a lounge set. I feel like these are different from PJs because this is just something that you can put on whenever you get home from work or school or you just want to relax or you want to put them on when you're going on a trip and you want to be comfortable in the plane, stuff like that. So yeah, sweatsuit or just like some cute leggings. Um, sometimes you can find some really nice cashmere leggings. The next idea is is ballerinas or like belly flaps. I just bought some ballerinas from Ghani. I can just show them. Yeah, I just bought these from Ghani and I have been wondering whether I should get these or not or whether I should just get some regular belly flats because these are kind of expensive but I got these ones because I really like them. Um, I got them like a week ago I guess and I wore them to this Christmas dinner because I knew I wanted to look fancy and put together and stuff like that but I didn't want to put on heels because it was such a long night and these are just wonderful for that because I could walk in these like throughout the whole night and throughout the whole day before that so these are really good I feel like they are all so cute. The next idea is a bag. I feel like you can get a lot of affordable bags out there at this time. It doesn't have to be anything crazy expensive. It doesn't have to be a designer bag. It can also just be a tote bag, or like a bag for work um, or a bag for school. The next idea is hair clips. Um, these come in so many different shapes and forms and i feel like they're just so cute i do have some hair clips myself and i use them a lot especially at work because usually when i just have my hair down i kind of get tired of it throughout the day and i just want to have a hair clip in my bag so these are just very very nice to have on hand the next idea is cute socks I feel like maybe you won't use them as much. I didn't get the idea of having cute socks until last year because my mother-in-law bought me these really cute socks and I've been wearing them throughout the summer because when I have a skirt on and I put sneakers on, I really like to have some cute socks 
Um, so yeah, I use those a lot and I am gonna put some cute socks on my wrist list this year. The next thing is moon boots. Oh, I know this is controversial and I know some people think they are so ugly. I personally have a pair and I love them. I bought them last year and my boyfriend hated them. He would always tell me that they are so ugly and so impractical, but honestly, they are so comfortable and you will not freeze. Like you definitely will not have cold feet in those shoes. So I feel like it's a good gift idea and I feel like it's a good investment, but up to you, a hat or a scarf, something to keep you warm throughout the winter. I feel like hats and scarves can be pretty expensive, especially if you're buying from like Gunny or Acne Studios. So that's a really good idea to put on your wish list because yeah, I, I feel like you just use it forever, especially if you just get like something really plain and simple, you'll be able to use it like over and over again for each winter. So yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Yeah, now we're moving on to the self-care section. First up, I have skincare. This can be anything. Maybe you have a product that you really like, but maybe you've run out of, uh, maybe needs to restock, but you don't want to spend the money on it. I get really pity when I buy a product and I really like it and I use it all and then I have to buy it again. I get really pity and I really don't want to spend my money on it, but that's why it's a great idea to put on your wish list. I have some skincare on my wish list as well. And it can be anything, like it doesn't have to be anything too expensive. Maybe you've just like kind of wanted to try out a skincare product. You can just put it on your wrist list, try it out. And if you don't like it, it doesn't really matter because you haven't used your own money on it. Next up is hair care. And when I say hair care, I mean like a good hair oil or serum or something like that. Something that will really nurture your hair maybe a mask something like that you can also put perfumes on your wish list i have perfumes on my wish list and that is basically just because i have so many different perfumes that i want to get and i feel like perfumes are so expensive and it's such a great gift to give to someone because you use it a lot if you like it perfume is a good gift idea. The next idea is a good hand cream. A good hand cream can be so expensive. I feel like you can get some by Redo that might not be that expensive, but might be something that you don't want to spend that much money on yourself because it feels kind of unnecessary, but it's so nice to have. So nice to have in your bag, so nice to have throughout the winter time and yeah i really just love a good hand cream especially one with a really nice scent to it that makes me want to use it like all the time next up is an oil cleanser i had an oil cleanser once i bought it from this korean skincare brand i don't remember what it's called um I'll find it and I'll link it for you guys because it was really good and I really liked it but it, like it wasn't something that I used every single day but it was so nice because I usually get in the shower I forget to take off my makeup and then I'm in the shower and I'm obviously not gonna go out of the shower and take a makeup wipe and remove my makeup to go back into the shower so it's just so nice to always have in your shower and also it's I heard it, it's much better for your skin to remove your makeup with an oil cleanser. So I just used the oil cleanser and it feels so nice. And it kind of doubles up the cleansing part because I use another cleanser with it. Like, so I'm kind of double cleansing. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense, but I feel like my cleanser was really good. That is a really nice thing to have. You can get a, some pretty good cheap ones, I would say. I feel like I didn't use that much that much money on it. 
but it was really good and I really liked it. So put that on your wish list because you might need it. Next up is a lash serum. I don't know about this one because I have used a lash serum. I used the one from Grande Lash, Grande Lash, I think it's called. Yeah, um, and I used that one for like maybe two or three months and it worked so freaking well. Like my lashes got so long and I really liked it. I wanna say though that I feel like whenever you stop using it, your lashes will just go back to your natural length, which is like fine. Um, but you might kind of become addicted to it. I feel like I kind of have been debating whether I should buy it again because I feel like it's kind of expensive. It doesn't last that long. Um, maybe you can just use castor oil or something like that. I feel like that would be a much cheaper, el a much cheaper alternative, but yeah, I don't know. I know you can get a lot cheaper lash serums out there on the market. I don't know if they're any good, but you can try them out. <coughs> I'm sorry for my voice, guys. I am getting kind of sick. Next thing is an appointment to go to the hair salon. Um, I feel like this is such a good gift. Like this is honestly one of the best gifts you could ever give. I used to always get like a gift card or just my, my mom would just always pay for my uh, hair salon appointment um, because I always wanted to dye my hair and I wanted to get a haircut and a hair treatment and stuff like that and she would just say to me each year like I just I will just pay for that that one time and I would just get the whole thing done like around Christmas um, and I feel like that's one of the best gifts because I was so grateful for that for so long Next thing is an electric toothbrush. Um, I really like my electric tooth toothbrush. I feel like it does a really, really good job. I feel like you could get some pretty cheap ones out there. And you can get like a kind of compact one that has a travel like container you can put it in and just take it along with you. That's my only downside to having an electrical toothbrush is I don't want to bring the charger and I don't want to have it lying around in my bag. And the next thing is a rope. I have put a really nice rope on my wish list. You can get some really nice ones out there. They don't have to cost a fortune. You can just get ones that are like soft and nice to have. And I feel like this is such a good gift to give or gift to wish for yourself because this is something that I wouldn't personally necessarily spend money on because it kind of feels like a luxurious thing that isn't really that necessary, but really nice to have. The next thing is a nice water bottle. Um, this can be from anywhere. Like, obviously you could just use a pretty standard water bottle that you can just get at the supermarket and just reuse that. Um, but I think having a middle one or a glass water bottle just kind of makes the water colder for longer um, and it's just nice to have a nice water bottle if you haven't already it's nice to bring around it's nice to have by your bed um, throughout the night and it's just yeah really nice to have they can be pretty expensive so I would say maybe just look for some kind of cheap ones doesn't have to be whatever you see on TikTok all the time, like the, what's it called? Like the Stanley Cup. Yeah, I've seen those so many times on my TikTok. It doesn't have to be the Stanley Cup. I'm sure there are a lot of great alternatives out there. 
So you can put that on your wish list. The next thing and the last thing in the self-care section is shampoo and conditioner. And I am talking something really nice, like a really good brand that you maybe have been wanting to try or that you really love. Maybe the Olaplex one. I have, I actually got the Olaplex series for Christmas last year and I have been enjoying it. I feel like with my hair, it doesn't really work as well, but you could just do your research and just put on whatever you think might work for your hair on your wish list. Now we go on to the beauty section. First up, I have makeup. Makeup is something that I personally never spend money on. And I don't know why, because I need it. And there are a lot of products that I want to try, but makeup can be so expensive. So maybe you have some products that you want to try out or something that you've heard some really great things about. Put them on your wish list and hope that you get them because I feel like that's something that is so annoying to spend your own money on. Next up is jewelry. Um, it doesn't have to be crazy expensive jewelry. A good tip to all the girls with boyfriends out there, tell them you want jewelry for Christmas, but make them pick it out themselves. Um, because this is just such a great way to get a really personalized gift from them. Um, and maybe be kind of specific. Tell them, I want something kind of like this. And like, tell them you want earrings, but tell them I don't want anything with like hearts and color, or I want it in silver, or I want it in gold, or whatever. Like, be specific so he doesn't just buy you something that you would just never use. But yeah, that's a really good idea for girls with boyfriends. Next up in the beauty section is a good sunscreen. And a good sunscreen is something that you can put on your face every single day and that doesn't make you break out and doesn't look like oily or cakey on your skin. So I use one from La Roche-Posay and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but <laughs> I'll show it down here and I'll link it under the video. But that one is so freaking good. And my boyfriend uses it as, as well. Um, that's not too expensive. It's, it's kind of not that expensive, but you can get some really good ones. There are some ones that you can spray on your face to refresh throughout the day and stuff like that. And they can be pretty expensive. So put it on your wish list and then you're just all set for at least the next six months. The next thing is a lip mask. Um, I have the one from Laneige. I was influenced by TikTok, of course. And um, I like it. I, I actually do like it. I feel like the hype I feel like it might be a little bit overrated, but I don't want to upset anyone, but I feel like it's kind of overrated. Um, and it is kind of expensive too, but I feel like it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I actually have it on right now and I really like how shiny it is. Um, but you can just put something cheaper on your wish list. Like it doesn't have to be. The Laneige one. Next up is setting spray. Um, I personally don't use setting spray basically just because I don't have any. I really need some because I find that my makeup doesn't last very long. And I feel like that's because I don't wear setting spray. I've heard the Charlotte Tilbury one is supposed to be really, really good. Like the flawless, flawless filter. I've heard great things about that one. But also I've had the MAC setting spray before and I I feel like that worked fine. Um, but yeah, that's just something that I personally don't want to spend money on. So 
that's a really good thing to put on your Christmas wish list. Next up is a makeup bag. I have a makeup bag, but it is so fucking dirty. Sorry. Oh my god. It is so freaking dirty. And I have makeup all over it, inside of it. And I could really use a new one. I feel like this is something you kind of all have. I feel like this is a problem that happens to all girls. And I personally don't want to clean my makeup bag because I, I just can't be bothered. So that's a good thing to put on your waist list. Next up is a jewelry box. I have a lot of jewelry and then they're just kind of sitting in a bowl. And I would really like them to be organized and I would like to bring them to places. So a jewelry box is definitely on my wish list. Okay, now we're moving on to the kitchen stuff. If you are still living at home, these might not be that relevant to you. But if you're not living at home and if you're living by yourself, I feel like these might be pretty good gift ideas. The first one is pants. Pants can be so expensive and it's something that I really don't want to spend my own money on. Um, you can get a lot of really nice pants and if you just wish for one every single year, you'll be able to build a collection pretty pretty soon and next up is knives knives can also be really expensive sorry can also be really expensive um and it's just something i don't want to spend my money on because i have knives and they work so i don't want to go out and spend like a hundred bucks on something that already works for me but put them on your wish list if you want so um that's just a really nice thing to not have to buy yourself. Next up is dish towels or washcloths. I don't really know what to call them, but I think it's dish towels. I have been missing dish towels for maybe a year, but I don't want to go out and buy some because I don't feel like I can find anything that's nice looking. And you always need dish towels, so why not just get them? And the more you have, the less you have to wash them. Next up is a juicer. This is not necessary. Like, you don't need a juicer. I've made juice just for my blender and then just straining it throughout a strainer. But I feel like it's nice to have. Maybe you want to do a juice cleanse or you want to do something crazy for your health after new year's and you can just go on ahead and start now by juicing your own juice it can be like celery juice i've made celery juice for like the last month and i really like it i really like it it's really good for my skin it's really good for my overall health it actually tastes not that bad. I put kiwi in it and that makes the world of a difference. Next up is a pasta maker. If you're, if you really like cooking in the kitchen and you eat a lot of Italian food like I do, I personally make pasta maybe like once a week. Um, I feel like this is a really good thing to have on your wish list. They aren't too expensive. Um, you could buy them yourself. I just feel like I would never do that because I don't know how much use I will get out of it. So yeah, I have that on my wish list. Next up is a matcha set. This is only for the matcha girlies. I love matcha. I love matcha so freaking much, but if you, like me, live in a big city, I live in Copenhagen, you know that matcha from coffee places are kind of expensive. And it adds up really, really fast. So making it at home would be a great alternative, but matcha sets can be pretty expensive. Um, 
but you can find some online, put them on your wish list. You can find some with like a bowl and like the whisk and like the matcha itself, like the matcha powder. Next up is pasta bowls. <laughs> pasta bowls are so unnecessary, but if you want your pasta to look aesthetic and pleasing and really want to impress your guests, then put pasta bowls on your wish list. This thing is candles. Candles can be really expensive, especially the scents of candles. They're really nice to have, but are so expensive. And especially like the big candles, they can cost up to like maybe 120 bucks. But you can get some really nice ones. They're just kind of expensive. So next up is a diffuser. I've never had one myself, so I don't know if this is relevant or not. I don't know if you're really gonna use it, um, but I feel like it's just nice to have. I love when my apartment is just smelling clean and nice and homely and just, yeah, I just love that. So you can get a diffuser. You could also just get like the candle sticks. I don't know if, what's it called, like the sticks. Next up is towels. Um, I feel like you should buy new towels every once in a while because we just, we all know that towels get kind of worn out um, and it's just so nice to have some soft towels. So maybe put that on your wish list. Next up is a nice hand soap. This is so unnecessary and that's why I put it on my wish list because I would personally never go out and buy a nice expensive hand soap with my own money. So this is such a good thing to put on your wish list because you don't want to go out and buy a hundred dollar soap. So yeah. Next up is bed sheets. I have been putting bed sheets on my wish list every single year for the last maybe four years, I guess. And it's such a good idea because bedsheets can be kind of expensive and it's such a good gift to give because people know that you need it if you put it on your wish list. And it's still personal because you get to pick it out yourself. Next up is a bedside lamp. This is only if you need it, um, but it can just be a lamp that you put on a table or something. It it could be very decorative, so you can buy a lamp. Um, last year, I got my mother-in-law this flower pot lamp, which is kind of expensive and you don't have to find one that is that much. You can find one from Ikea or something, but they're just very cute and nice to have. Um, next up is posters. You can get so many cute posters online. And I feel like it's something that you just never really go out and buy. Um, so put that on your wish list if you have something that you feel like would just fit in perfectly or you've been wanting to buy yourself because they can be pretty expensive. A bath mat. I feel like you should update your bath mat maybe every two years, maybe, but that's a really good thing to put on your wish list because you don't want to go out and buy a new one every single time. And maybe you found one that's really nice, but you kind of just don't want to spend your money on it. So next up is a vase um, for your flowers at home. This is such a nice thing to have. I have a lot of vases in my home um, and I love them all. Maybe you found a designer piece or something that would just look really nice. I actually really love the vases that they carry at Firm Living, I think it's called, and the ones from Hay. I'll just put the pictures here so you can see them. Next up is board games. I feel like this is such a good thing to put on your wish list because board games can be so expensive and it's just not something that you want to spend your money on and it's such a good idea because you can get a board game from your family and then you can play it together at christmas eve so that's just such 
a cute little gift idea. First thing is a phone case. Pretty simple. You can get so many pretty ones. Um, but yeah, a phone case if you need one. Next up is a laptop case. I don't know about you, but I keep the same laptop case from when I was like 12 or something. Like when did I get my first laptop? Maybe 14. Yeah, 14 years old. So it's really old and I just have been using the same laptop case because I cannot be bothered to buy a new one. I really don't use it that much, but it's nice to have when you're traveling and stuff like that. So books. You can get so many good books. I'll just put some recommendations on what books I've read recently that you can read. Um, especially the one that's called Normal People. Oh, that book was so good. I read the whole book in, a, in the span of uh, a week, yeah, seven days. And it was really, really good. I read it on vacation and I just could not stop reading it. Next up is a heating pad. I feel like this kind of could go under self-care, but just a heating pad for the girlies because I use mine whenever I get my period. Obviously I'm pregnant now, so I don't get my periods anymore, but I used it a lot before, especially after I got off birth control. My period cramps were so freaking bad and I was just relying so heavily on my heating pad. So get one of those. You might think that they don't work, but they do. It's really soothing, really comfortable. Next up is a Polaroid camera. This is something that is also really unnecessary. Like you can just take photos with your phone. So you don't really need a Polaroid camera. It's just nice to have. I saw this picture on Pinterest. Um, I'll put it here, but it was like a little bowl with Polaroid photos in it and you can just keep it in your home and then people can come over and just sort through the pictures. And I feel like it's such a great idea to just have some Polaroid pictures printed out at your home. Next up, and that's the last thing I have on this list, is concert tickets. I really want to go to a lot of concerts and I really want to see a lot of artists, especially in the summertime. I feel like it's such a great idea, especially um, if you give it to your friends because you can go together. Maybe research if there are any concerts in your city that you'd like to go to or any artists that you want to see. And it doesn't only apply for concert tickets. Maybe you can get like tickets for a football game or yeah basketball games something like that but tickets in general just to get some experiences i feel like experiences are one of the best gifts that you can give anyone you could also just maybe say hey i am just giving you this trip to go out and eat and go to the movies or something like that like get them experiences that they will remember that's such a good idea that's all I have on my list. It should be about 50 things. Um, so yeah, I feel like you should be able to put some things on your Christmas wish list. Don't forget to spread the joy this holiday season. I don't know about you guys, but I love Christmas. I love giving gifts to my family, especially my smallest siblings. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. I'll see you guys soon. Let me know if you want me to make a Christmas wish list for boyfriends because I have a lot of great ideas for that as well. But let me know down in the comments if you want to see any of that. Anyways, bye you guys.